Welcome back to Amnesia the Bunker. Let's head back to our exploration of the soldier quarters. We're trying to find the communication room in there so that we can get the arsenal code. Let's go turn on the generator. Try turning some lights off just in the hopes that it maybe saves power. Prisoner speaking. Got a gas grenade there. Okay, hold on. Didn't we... Didn't we come here? I don't remember a prisoner speaking, but I thought I already came here. I definitely was in here. Did I stop at this point? Oh, wait. I'm in the prison, aren't I? Oh. I meant to go to the soldier quarters. Well, I'm here now. Fuel. Jesus Christ. I can't imagine how fucking terrified they must be. That must be that one prisoner that they said they left behind. Prisoner... I don't remember the number. Okay, well, I don't have any way to do anything. At the moment. Mm. Yeah, I, I can't do anything here. Okay, how much time do we have? Cool, like no time at all. Well, I mean, there's no point in going back. I need fuel. Let's just charge this while I've still got light. Oh, shit. I need to calm down with that light charging. There it goes. Oh. Okay. I wanted to come. Set off this fucking thing. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well. I don't know. I was kind of hoping it might get a bit caught in the trip line or something it just killed me and then and then it took the, the explosion so those um those traps then are not helpful for the enemy at all not unless i trigger them myself well perhaps that was a good thing because now i don't have to waste my time at the prison Oh, 
I always run right by the soldier quarters. Just because it's kind of tucked away. Right, that one has the red X. I think I want to set this off. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I need a grenade to set it off? That would just blow up everything. We needed a key for that. Security's over there. I think I went into this room and then I came out of it when I, I found fuel and just like ran. Ooh. Oh, I need the pry bar. Yeah, I came over here and found fuel. Oh, more fuel. 15th of July, 1916. Fournier claims one of us killed Reynard. But I saw Reynard's corpse. His eyes were gone, gouged from his skull. His tongue was shredded. We all hated Reynard, but none of us could have done this. War is a brutality, but it's anonymous, mechanized. We fire at distant soldiers. Whoever did this, it was intimate. It was sadistic. I fear for all of us. I need to not make any loud noises. Do not charge my thing. Oh, shit, no. Don't turn that off. I need to be wary that I don't fill up my inventory. I mean, I can always dump stuff, so I guess it's fine. We don't have much time left. need light. Got a passcode? 9th of July, night. My conscience compels me now, as it failed to compel me then. I must do something, even if it costs me my own life. I must do something lest I never sleep again. I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. I must do something. I go. What was the dates on the others? 9th of July, 9th of July, 9th of July. More fuel. Yes. Okay, we are very, very, very soon going to run out of power. This time, I have two fuels. Should I sprint for it? I mean, it's going to hear me. It's probably going to come down if I start sprinting. But I don't know if I have much of a choice. Let's go for it. Wait, 
is the wrong way. Fuck. I'm gonna trigger that. Let it blow. Maybe it'll attract it, attract it to there, which is perfect. Oh, Jesus. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Why do I feel compelled to look through here? I saw it go by. I wonder if it can reach through. Fucker. Okay, I should have a good amount more time than before. Two whole fuels. Feels like luxury. We have a new password. H. Clement, 4189. Ah, two rounds. of July, mid-afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And, using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> no, Augustin doesn't have a chance because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid. <laughs> well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. 8th of July, near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along the line. Them firing at us. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustan's having a simply marvelous time. Out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 9th of July, time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Augustin's bunk is... empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Jozinski, nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. 
as if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if, as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if all hope was lost. Now the shelling is starting again. Uh, we'll try to sleep. 9th of July, morning. It has been hours now and Augustin has not returned. His luck did not hold. And neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it, for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. Oh, it was nothing. A joke. I, I thought it was just a joke. I, I never thought. I, I never thought. Oh, and therein lies my sin. You know, these notes that happened later than the one we just found, we found those quite early and they were making me think that, you know, if we're so guilty, maybe we somehow are a monster ourselves but the note we just saw makes it clear that the monstrous thing that they've done is not literally anything to do with the monster but just that they think that they got somebody killed as part of their little prank Oh, that's what these slots are for. They're for the temporary ammo that you have, so it doesn't take up your inventory space. Unloaded shots. Nope, 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 that's the prison. Don't make that mistake again. Oh, we just tossed out the old shells that we had shot. That's so cool that that's a thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. There's a rat, there's a rat, there's a rat. It's not normal, it's an abnormal rat. I think rats are amazing. I think they're cute. Mm, I don't think this is one of the cute ones though. I should burn the body, but I don't have any fuel, so I can't. I shouldn't go in there until I can? I'm pretty sure the rat would just eat me. Oh, it's kind of cute though. I really probably shouldn't go in there. But yeah, these doors are burst open now. Oh, this one I opened, but this one burst open from the grenade. I missed this. That's most unfortunate. Wait, I think it got hit by the gas. I don't know if it matters, though. Like, I know the gas lasts for a while. There's nothing I can do here. It's gonna be minutes till the gas is gone. Oh, more fuel.
Have I been over to security yet? I don't remember. Oh, what are those meaty chunks? Oh. Oh, this is the other end of where that rat is. I, I think. Or these are separate rats. I'm not sure. There's definitely rats there. That's what the meaty globules are about. I should not venture too far over there. What is that? Flare? For use when in need of aid, signals with its brightly burning and loudly hissing flame can be thrown. Hmm. What would this be useful for? Well, for sure it would catch fuel on fire. Hmm. I wonder if it would catch a body on fire without fuel, even. Probably not. <laughs> it says it's bright, so it produces a lot of light, of course, and also loudly hissing flame. So it would attract the monster? Although if it's bright, it also would scare the monster at the same time. Hmm. Maybe it would be capable of burning a body. I mean, why else are they giving it to me? If the rats are there and I need to repel them, then unless I'm meant to throw one of the meaty chunks to distract them, sneak up, pour fuel on the body, and then light it on fire, I mean, maybe that is what I'm supposed to do, but maybe I'm just meant to throw the flare. I don't know. Oh, look, there's a meaty chunk. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm definitely supposed to burn that body. I can't see anything, though. It worked. It worked. I think they fucked off. Creepy little things. Nicolay's unsent letter, 5th of May, from Johannes to Amanda Nicolay. Dearest, thank you for the package. I'm saving the chocolate for a special occasion, and I'm keeping the photo close to my heart. It's been weeks now since I've been called for any combat action, but a new kind of fear is spreading inside the bunker. Last night, I woke with a chill. A strange sound was emanating from deeper in the bunker. A kind of moan, a cry, perhaps a howl. I went to investigate and found myself standing at the entryway to the Roman tunnels. The sound came from inside. I dared not shine a light inside for fear of what I might see. And then a scrambling thudding came racing toward me from the darkness. A shape loomed up out of the shadows. I reached for my sidearm, ready to fire. It was Toussaint. He'd been awakened as well, but unlike me, he dared to enter the tunnels. He says he saw something there. As we stood at that maw, listening, howling, 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 grew distant, receded to where I dare not guess. 
Perhaps our minds are gone, or perhaps there is something down there. Toussaint will not tell me what he saw. Please write me again soon. Love to you, Johannes. Right, that would be the person who drew all over their walls about what they saw in the Roman tunnels. From Alex Neuer, Neuer's Journal, Part 1, 30th of April. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes there are old Roman tunnels adjacent to our position. They're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack. As if any attack at this point would be termed a surprise. This is a war. We're all always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash of antiquity would liven the place up. It has certainly helped keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. 9th of May. The officers presented me today with a rather unexpected and strange gift. Aging texts from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. I took them, of course, but the truth is these texts are far too fragile, too valuable to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. 11th of May. This morning Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him a time, but considered him one of my better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I've been going over the texts and have had quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin, or Latinate at least. But what they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from any era. The texts seem to be of a religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated, to cross into the darkness beyond and then something about sight. 13th of May. Haven't slept, need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they had found a means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed access to what they thought was some other world, one dominated by darkness and ruled by, I don't know, they use words I can't translate, ruled by some thing. They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment and the sickly rattle of souls near death. This is what they were using the tunnels for. For them it was a doorway into some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies, of sadistic spirits, of the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then. But then I'm back at this. Oh, it's so cool to see these worlds connect. This is definitely talking about the things we saw in Amnesia Rebirth, for sure. Jesus, that's bright. Look out for that gas grenade there. Oh. S. Millard. No code. Toussaint. 16th of May. Neuer has been telling us of the tunnel texts, describing what these tunnels were used for. But I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was in there. In the dark. I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real that when I wake, the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey, repulsive and yet intoxicating. As I drink, it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal, sex, blood, flesh. Around me are others, their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. 
I know we all serve the same master, to the same end. A place in her unending kingdom. Immortality. The things I do in these dreams. A terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and twirled, that make the carnal, the charnel pit of the war seem like mere play. I wake horrified, but in the dreams, I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. How we doing on time? Ooh, not good. Wait, is that a used one? It must be. Or wait, is it? Hold on. Oh, I thought that was a flare, but it's either a used one or... I don't know. Oh, hello. Whoa. Well, glad I found that. Communication key. I could have so easily missed that. I guess it's a used flare, but it's just not the one that I just used. Anyway, we're gonna be out of light in just a second, so that's gonna suck, huh? No way I can make it back in time, so... You know. Fuck it. Alright. Let's... Get... To... Ah, security! Security, security, security! No, wait. Communication, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope this is a safe room. There's no lock. It ain't safe. What do we got on us? Alright, well I got healing and I've got my gun. Quietly. That's not very quiet. Note to Farber. I was there when they pulled your friend Neuer from the tunnels. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher, he was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk, you and I, about what is to be done. Let me know when. Oh, that lock can be broken for sure. But that would make noise. more fuel. Oh, we're gonna need... Oh, we need power. 100% we need power if we want to be able to hear any transmissions. Of course. Farber dies. Farber is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess and had burst from the shadows right behind Boisrand. But Farber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it, hit it, dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Have to move now, or we'll all suffer his fate. <laughs> I'm 
there's meat there in the tunnel. There's even a bowl there, like someone was feeding it. Okay, I don't need the meat. Although I suppose I need the meat more than an empty bottle? It doesn't matter, does it? Okay, I'll take the meat over the bottle. Hmm. A third thing of fuel and a stick. Wait, what do I do with a stick? Can I use it as a pry bar? I mean, it's made of wood, so it's not really a bar. Hold on, let's see. A piece of wood. Oh, it requires further crafting to use. Well, no icon is appearing with any of these things, so I can't craft it with any of those. What could I craft it with? Oh, you know what? I bet I can make a torch. I don't know how I would light it, but this... Yeah, hold on, there's cloth in this room. Yes. When other methods are unavailable, a simple torch can light the darkness and be swung to scare off small scavengers and predators. Okay, small. <laughs> Not the big monster. But if I have to deal with rats, this would work. And another advantage, I suppose, would be that it would be silent. I wouldn't need to charge it. Of course, I don't know how long it would burn for. Requires a lighter to use. Yeah, I figured we'd find a lighter at some point. They're giving me a lot of meat. It's making me think there's going to be rats. <sighs> All right. You know what? I wonder if I could break the lock with the torch. I mean, I doubt something wooden would break metal. I probably need a stone object. Oh, can you not even... E yeah, you can't even equip it. I think you have to equip it as a torch, like, already lit or something. Yeah, yeah, you do. Is there a stone in here? There is not. All right, then. I guess I just head back. I need power. Man is... Man is it a long way back. Do I even know the way back? I think it's... For... Forward. Oh. Fuck. Trying to judge how central it is. I think it's in the center now. I 
I think I gotta go for it. Okay, I don't know where I am now. Oh, yes, this is the right way. I cannot tell where the thing is. I don't know. It could be below me, it could be above me. And we made it. Whoo! Hmm. Oh, I am about to put so much fuel in you. Could I maybe get you up to full? I think that rose me two ticks, so I don't think this is going to get us up to full. Well, it's the most I've ever had in here at one time, that's for sure. Oh. Well, there's no point in having the torch if I don't have a lighter. Okay, now I have the means to get the arsenal code. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go back to the soldiers' quarters, to the communication room with power, and hopefully somebody very helpful will be broadcasting the code to the arsenal. <laughs>